Hi mamas! In our interview videos, Bear had mentioned um, something that I did that made him embarrassed. Why don't you take a look? The worst is when we're walking in the grocery store and she gooses me. What's drives, a goose? It drives me crazy. It's like she sticks her finger on my butt and it freaks me out. It scares me. For the years that I have picked on my husband, um, I feel like an apology is due. I am so, so sorry that I have kept all this knowledge to myself and I haven't shared it with anyone else, not even my friends. This video is an opportunity to make that wrong right and I want to teach all of you out there how to master the perfect goose. I know people pay a lot of money for this kind of knowledge. Because I want to make it right, I am going to give it to you for free on YouTube. There are three main parts to mastering the perfect goose. The first one, the first is posture. So your intended target uh, should be mostly, their legs mostly straight and bent over at the waist where you have um, a nice access to their uh, glorious backside. Um, and so that's number one. one. Number one is posture. Number two is technique. Because my skills are obviously um, higher than the average person since my husband uh, felt the, um, the need to call it out in one of our videos. So the technique that I use is the number four. So we just think one, two, three, four, put your hand up. It's a B, a four. For the perfect goose, your hand is in the number four position and you go from ball sack to butt crack. No need to go too deep. It's not about how close you get to the actual um, target, the bullseye. Um, it's more about um, the presence of something near that region. The first one was posture. The second one is technique. Once you get those two points down, number three, which is my favorite and the most important, is surprise. So your intended target should should not know it's coming. Um, your opportunities, if you look for them, are there quite often. So um, when they're getting something out of the car or pulling clothes out of the dryer, or looking at something on the bottom shelf at a grocery store. So there's lots of opportunities. And um, so the surprise is gonna be the most important part of the perfect goose. So my, so my husband, um, when all three of those conditions are met, um, his response is that he jumps probably three feet in the air. Um, he doesn't do that any other time, but when the perfect goose happens. So it is the funniest thing ever. Those are the three points. You have your posture, you have your technique, and you have your surprise with practice, you too can master the perfect goose. I hope that, um, that this made the wrong right. And if it did, please comment apology accepted so that I could feel better and I can ease my conscience that I've now done the right thing. So uh, thank you so much, mamas. Talk to you later.